Hi, I'm Bob Alsop with Shop Saber CNC. Around here, they call me Router Bob. Today, we're going to make a tiled American flag sign to display in our demonstration facility here at Shop Saber CNC. Let's get started. Our plan is to create this flag at an inch and a half thick sign material, and the sheets are four by eight, and we're gonna to try to put the flag on four of them. And when we're finished, this will be hung on the wall. So it should be a really interesting process. The first thing we needed to start with was a drawing of a flag. Well, it turns out that the flag dimensions are actually defined by an executive order from the President of the United States. So here's how they're dimensioned. This value here, A, is one, and everything else is expressed in uh, a, a ratio, and that's how you determine the size of the flag. So once you create that drawing, then it's just a matter of scaling it to fit the size that you want. Using the proportions from the executive order, this is what I got. I drew this in Rhino, although I could easily have done it in VCAR Pro. Now the next step then is to figure out, okay, what are we gonna do with this? Okay, now the next step was to actually figure out what we're gonna do for layout. So this is VCAR Pro, and I started with that flag drawing. Here's what I really wanted to do. I wanna break this into four tiles, and those tile sizes are determined really by this. This is the blue part, so this is the stars and I wanted the distance from here to here to be uh, 48 inches. So that determined the scale. Now what I'm doing is, this is actually a white stripe here, and that's gonna be uh, engraved. And so I thought, well, I'm gonna put the seam in the middle of that, and then we're gonna put a seam here, and that's what the, the panels are gonna be. So those are gonna be tiles, and we're actually gonna leave a space in between them when we put them on the wall to give it that tile look. So that's first off what was determined here is to bring the drawing in, scale it, do the tiles the way you want it, then create separate drawings from each one of those. Before we start talking about toolpathic, let me explain the process. We start out with the sheets. In our case, three of them will be painted red and one will be painted blue. So that's where we start with. And the paint is uh, catalyzed polyurethane made for signs, so it's good for exterior use. So we paint those. They have to cure a minimum of 24 hours. Then we apply a mask material, which they call a stencil, and we cover the entire surface and we squeegee out all the bubbles. Okay, now we take those panels to the machine and we do the 3D engraving. And what it's gonna define is the white stripes and it's also gonna define the stars. So those get engraved out into the panel. Then we take that panel back to the paint room and we paint it white. And we also paint the edges. All right, so we will have done that four times and when we're done, we come back in. Once the paint's cured, we peel the mask off and our parts are done. Okay, let's take a look at this setup on here. Now the material is an inch and a half thick. It actually measured uh, 1.54. We're touching off to the top of the spoil board, all right? And then this is a geometry. So what I'm th this is actually the outline of the part. And then these are the actual pockets. So here are the tool paths. We're gonna, it's a V-carve. I'm going to use a, a fairly large insert tool from Vortex to do the V grooving. And then we're gonna use a, a half inch bit to actually do the pocketing. And then, and then we'll do the outside. So here's what's gonna happen. If we look at simulation, what you're gonna see on the machine. So first thing is the 3D engraving, which is actually done with a straight bit to start with. That does that. And then we come back in with the V bit. And then finally, we do a rough outside cut and then we do a little finish pass. And when we're done, that's our panel. Now let's take a look at the other one. So this is the first stripe one. This is the second stripe panel. This is the third stripe panel. And this is the fourth panel, which is the stars. And I actually did add an extra tool pass for it. I'll show you. I started out first and we're doing the the, the stars, that's a half inch bit. And I thought, well, I'm gonna do another pass with a quarter inch bit to make that tighter before I do the 3D engrave. And then finally the outside gets cut. And that completes our machining. Initially, the sheets were sent to the paint room and the surfaces were painted. We let them cure for 24 hours. 
The masking material is carefully applied to the painted surfaces. The bubbles are then removed with a squeegee. Each sheet is placed on the machine and the 3D engraving operations are performed, followed by machining the outsides.
areas of each sheet of painting. This includes the 3D engraving and the edges. Once the white paint has cured, the masks are removed, leaving our finished sign panels ready to attach to the wall in our tile layout design. Our American flag project came out really, really nice. The colors are perfect, the machining was perfect. It really wasn't that much trouble other than one little thing, and that was uh, smoothing out that masking film. And uh, we had trouble getting the bubbles out, but fortunately, our shop manager wraps cars on the weekends, and he came in and bailed us out. Well, the project was great, and it certainly shows the capability of a shop saver CNC. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Our tiled American flag sign really came out nice and it's certainly going to complement our demonstration facility. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you need more information, you can contact us at shopsaber.com. Thank you for watching.